Stephen Scott Harwell, the iconic lead vocalist for Smash Mouth, passed away at his home in Boise, Idaho, on September 4, 2023, at the age of 56, due to final stage liver failure. Known for groundbreaking hits like Walkin' on the Sun, Harwell was a pivotal figure in the pop rock scene of the late 90s and early 2000s. Prior to Smash Mouth, he was a rapper in FOS, Freedom of Speech, demonstrating his musical range. He also dabbled in television, notably appearing in the sixth season of the VH1 reality show The Surreal Life, and had a cameo role in the 2001 film Rat Race. Despite struggling with alcoholism and health issues, including cardiomyopathy and Wernicke encephalopathy, his vibrant personality and artistic contributions leave a lasting legacy in the music industry. Ron Cephas Jones, an accomplished American actor, passed away on August 20th at the age of 66 due to a long-standing pulmonary issue. Known for his emotionally resonant performances, Jones gained widespread acclaim for his role as William Hill in the television drama This Is Us, for which he won two Primetime Emmy Awards and received a Screen Actors Guild Award. His extensive body of work, including roles in series like Mr. Robot and films like Half Nelson, as well as a Tony Award nomination for his role in the Broadway play Clyde's, leaves an indelible impact on the worlds of television, film, and theater. Ray Hildebrand, best known as Paul in the iconic 1963 pop hit duet Hey Paula with Jill Jackson, passed away on August 18th at his home in Overland Park, Kansas, at the age of 82 due to complications from dementia. The song, penned by Hildebrand during his college years, became a million-selling number one hit and captured the hearts of a radio listening audience just before the Beatles led British Invasion. Although he stepped back from the pop music scene in 1965 to focus on Christian music and work with the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, his song Hey Paula remains a timeless classic, featured in movies like National Lampoon's Animal House and TV series such as Halt and Catch Fire, securing his enduring impact on American pop culture. Maxi Bowian, an esteemed American professional football player and coach, passed away on August 19th at the age of 85. A formidable linebacker in the NFL, Bagan had an illustrious career spanning over a decade, playing primarily for the Philadelphia Eagles, Los Angeles Rams, and Washington Redskins. Not only did he start his rookie season by helping the Eagles secure the 1960 NFL championship, but he was also a nine-time Pro Bowler and All-Pro selection in seven seasons. Post-retirement, Bogan transitioned to coaching, holding various positions including head coach of the Cornell Big Red, where he led the team to an Ivy League championship in 1988. Bogan's enduring impact on the sport was further solidified with multiple Hall of Fame inductions yet he remains one of the most noteworthy players not inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Isabel Crook, a renowned Canadian-British anthropologist and professor at Beijing Foreign Studies University, passed away on August 20th at the remarkable age of 107. Born to Canadian missionaries in Chengdu, Sichuan in 1915, Crook developed a passion for anthropology early on and went on to become a pioneering figure in foreign language education in China. She was also a significant researcher, with her work culminating in the publication of Prosperity's Predicament, Identity, Reform, and Resistance in Rural Wartime China in 2013. Despite facing political imprisonment during China's Cultural Revolution, she forgave her captors and continued her academic work, leaving an indelible impact on the field of anthropology and foreign language education in China. In 2019, she was honored as an honorary citizen of Bishan District, Chongqing, further cementing her lasting legacy. Bill Vukovic II, an American race car driver in the USAC and CART series, passed away on August 20th at the age of 79. A member of a family deeply rooted in motorsports, he was the son of two-time Indianapolis 500 winner Bill Vukovic and the father of Billy Vukovic III both of whom tragically lost their lives in racing accidents. Throughout his career spanning 1965 and 1982, Vukovic achieved significant milestones, including being named the 1968 Indianapolis 500 Rookie of the Year, earning one victory at Michigan in 1973, and accumulating 23 national midget car victories. He was also inducted into the National Midget Auto Racing Hall of Fame in 1998, 
His passing marks the end of an era for a family that has left an indelible mark on American auto racing. Dan Green, an American comic book illustrator known for his inking work, passed away on August 19th at the age of 70. With a career spanning from the early 1970s, Green worked on iconic series including Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, Uncanny X-Men, Wolverine, and Hulk for Marvel Comics, as well as Justice League of America for DC Comics. He collaborated with celebrated artists like John Romita Sr., John Byrne, and Steve Ditko, among others. Notably, Green co-wrote and illustrated the graphic novel Doctor Strange Into Shambhala in 1986, and his pencil illustrations were featured in a 2001 collection of Edgar Allan Poe's works. His contributions to the comic book industry have left a lasting impact, showcasing the artistic depth that inking can bring to storytelling. David Jacobs was an American television writer, producer, and director, passed away on August 20th at the age of 84 due to complications from a series of infections. Born on August 12, 1939, in Baltimore, Maryland, he rose to prominence as the creative force behind iconic CBS primetime series such as Dallas, Knott's Landing, and Paradise. With a career spanning several decades, Jacobs left an indelible impact on American television culture, crafting dramas that captivated millions and set new standards for storytelling in the medium. His work continues to be celebrated for its narrative depth and cultural significance, leaving a lasting legacy in the world of television drama. Toto Cutugno was an Italian pop singer, songwriter, and musician passed away on August 22 at the age of 80 due to prostate cancer. Born on July 7, 1943, Cutugno became a global sensation with his 1983 hit song, L'Italiano, and won the Eurovision Song Contest 1990 with Insieme 1992, a song celebrating European unity. With a career spanning multiple decades, Cutugno sold over 100 million records worldwide and became a symbol of Italian melody both domestically and internationally. Known for his versatility, he also composed hits for other artists and enjoyed a successful career as a television presenter. His work left an indelibly mark on Italian music and the broader European pop landscape, earning him a Lifetime Career Award at the San Remo Festival in 2013. Reggie Chaney was a star college basketball player passed away unexpectedly on August 21st at the age of 23. The cause of his death is not currently available. A native of Tulsa, Oklahoma, Chaney played two seasons for Arkansas before transferring to the University of Houston, where he became a vital part of the team that reached the NCAA Final Four in 2021. Over his college career, he appeared in 103 games for the University of Houston's Cougars, despite battling various injuries. His impact on college basketball was significant, earning him the American Athletic Conference's sixth man of the year in his final season. A prospective professional player set to join a team in Greece, Chenet leaves behind a legacy of resilience, talent, and sportsmanship that will continue to inspire young athletes. Warren Hoge was an American journalist passed away on August 23rd at the age of 82 due to pancreatic cancer. Over his lengthy career, much of it was spent at the New York Times, where he held various key roles including Metropolitan News Reporter, Foreign News Editor, and UN Bureau Foreign Correspondent. Born in Manhattan on April 13, 1941, Hoge was an alumnus of Trinity School and Yale University and also served in the U.S. Army. His journalistic journey began at the Washington Star and included stints as the Washington, D.C. Bureau Chief for the New York Post and key positions at the New York Times, like the chief posts in Rio de Janeiro and London. In 2008, he transitioned to a role as Vice President for External Relations at the International Peace Institute. His work in journalism and international relations left an indelible mark on both fields. Terry Funk, a wrestling legend and WWE Hall of Famer, passed away at age 79 on August 23rd. With a career spanning over 50 years, Funk was a pioneer in the field of hardcore wrestling, mentoring figures like Mick Foley, and known for iconic rivalries with wrestlers like Ric Flair and Jerry Lawler. Born to a family with a wrestling background, Funk became a single star when he captured the NWA World Championship in 1975 and took his talents globally, becoming a star in All Japan Pro Wrestling. 
He was especially noted for his I Quit match with Ric Flair in 1989, which is considered one of the all-time greats in pro wrestling. His influence in shaping hardcore wrestling and his fearless entertainment style have left an indelible mark on the world of professional wrestling. Bray Wyatt, whose real name was Wyndham Rotunda, was a professional WWE wrestler passed away at the age of 36 on August 24 due to a heart attack. A third-generation wrestler, Wyatt joined WWE in 2009 and became known for his creative and innovative characters, most notably Bray Wyatt, an enigmatic cult leader. Over his career, he won three WWE World Championships and two tag team titles, breaking wrestling norms by introducing special effects, puppets, and complex story arcs. Remembered as one of the most creative minds in the wrestling industry, Wyatt's characters connected deeply with fans and pushed boundaries in the athletic art form. His untimely passing has left the wrestling world and fans mourning the loss of a truly unique talent. Hersha Parati was an American actress who passed away on August 23rd due to complications from a brain tumor at the age of 78. Best known for her role as Alice Garvey in the iconic TV series Little House on the Prairie, Parody initially began her career in theater, including a touring production opposite John Voight in A Streetcar Named Desire. In addition to her memorable role in Little House, she made guest appearances in shows like Mannix, Bearcats, and The Waltons. Though she stepped away from frequent television roles after her time on Little House, Parati's portrayal of Alice Garvey left an enduring impact on the world of television drama, contributing to the show's lasting legacy. Carol Robles Roman, a pioneering Latina lawyer and New York City deputy mayor, passed away on August 20th in White Plains, NY, at the age of 60 due to lung cancer. She was instrumental in establishing the Family Justice Centers, which offer services to victims of domestic and gender-based violence, and broadened the diversity in mayoral appointments to judgeships. Throughout her career, Robles Roman tirelessly championed for social justice, equal opportunity, and inclusivity, especially for women, immigrants, and minorities. As the first person appointed to the role of deputy mayor for legal affairs and later as the chief executive of the Women's Legal Defense Fund, she leaves a lasting impact on public service and legal reforms in New York. Bernie Marsden was an English rock and blues guitarist passed away on August 24th at age 72 due to bacterial meningitis. He was best known for his work with the rock band Whitesnake, where he co-wrote numerous hit songs including the chart-topping Here I Go Again. Throughout his prolific career, Marsden also collaborated with other significant artists and bands, such as UFO, Wild Turkey, and Babe Ruth, and released several solo albums, the latest of which, Kings, reached number 18 in the UK Albums Chart. His impact on the rock and blues genres was monumental, earning him awards like the Lord of the Blues at the HRH Awards in 2021 and an honorary Master of Arts degree from the University of Buckingham in 2015. Bernie Marsden's contributions to music continue to resonate, leaving a lasting legacy that has influenced generations of musicians. Alexandra Paul was a Canadian competitive ice dancer passed away on August 20 at age 31 due to a tragic car accident. Partnering with her husband, Mitchell Islam, she won a silver medal at the 2010 World Junior Championships and represented Canada at the 2014 Winter Olympics. In her senior career, they were three-time Canadian National Bronze Medalists and 2013 Nebelhorn Trophy Bronze Medalists. Beyond her accomplishments on ice, Alexandra also held a Juris Doctor degree and had recently embarked on a career as an attorney. Her untimely death leaves an indelible mark on the world of figure skating and the legal community. Bob Feldman, an American songwriter and record producer, passed away on August 23rd at the age of 83. Feldman was an iconic figure in the 1960s American music scene, best known for co-writing enduring hits such as My Boyfriend's Back, I Want Candy, and Sorrow, alongside Jerry Goldstein and Richard Goderer. His prolific career spanned decades, influencing multiple genres from pop to country, and his work has been covered by artists ranging from David Bowie to Dion. Feldman's indelible contributions to American music serve as a lasting testament to his creative prowess, leaving an everlasting impact on the industry. Rich Landrum, an American radio and television broadcaster, 
passed away on August 14th at the age of 77. Best known for hosting the syndicated program Worldwide Wrestling from 1978 to 1982, Landrum was a seminal voice in professional wrestling broadcasting. He began his broadcasting career at 16, quickly climbing the ranks to become a highly respected figure in the field. However, it was his partnership with Johnny Weaver, who he dubbed the Dean of Professional Wrestling, that cemented his legacy. The duo is often cited as one of the most memorable announcer teams of their era, renowned for their smooth delivery and chemistry. Although his later years were marked by a transition into the hearth business, Landrum never lost touch with his wrestling roots, attending fan events, and maintaining a lifelong love for the sport. Arlene Sorkin was an American actress, screenwriter, television presenter, and comedian passed away on August 24th at the age of 67 due to multiple sclerosis. Best known for her role as Calliope Jones, on the NBC daytime serial Days of Our Lives, Sorkin also gained fame as the real-life inspiration and original voice for the iconic DC Comics character Harley Quinn in Batman the Animated Series. Her multifaceted career, which also included writing for shows like Tiny Toon Adventures, left a lasting impact on both daytime television and the animated superhero genre, immortalizing her as a versatile and influential figure in the entertainment industry. Coolidge Ball was an American businessman and basketball player passed away on August 29, 2023, at the age of 71. A trailblazer in collegiate athletics, he was the first African-American athlete to play any sport at the University of Mississippi, breaking racial barriers when he enrolled in 1970 on an athletic scholarship. Beyond his sports career, where he played forward for the Ole Miss Rebels, Ball transitioned to entrepreneurship, founding Ball Sign Company in 1979. He also contributed to the community by coaching basketball at Northwest Mississippi Community College for four years. His courage, pioneering spirit, and contributions to both sports and business have left a lasting impact on the community and the history of racial integration in collegiate sports. Tina Howe, an esteemed Tony-nominated playwright, passed away on August 28th at the age of 85 due to complications from a hip fracture. Known for works such as Coastal Disturbances, Painting Churches, and Pride's Crossing, Howe earned multiple accolades including Obie and Outer Critics Circle Awards and was a two-time Pulitzer Prize finalist. Inducted into the American Theatre Hall of Fame in 2017, her significant impact on American theater spanned over four decades and included mentoring the next generation through teaching and launching the Rita and Burton Goldberg MFA in playwriting. Her plays premiered at distinguished venues like the Public Theater, the Kennedy Center, and Lincoln Center Theater, and her legacy endures through the depth and sensitivity with which she explored human relationships and social dynamics. Jamie Crick, a renowned British radio broadcaster, passed away on August 29th at the age of 57, after a short illness. Known for his work across various stations, including Classic FM, Jazz FM, and Scala Radio, Crick had a storied career spanning multiple decades. During his 20-year tenure at Classic FM, he gained widespread recognition for programs like Opera in the Park and the Classic FM Youth Orchestra Concerts, as well as for hosting the 1-5 p.m. weekday afternoon slot that included the Classic FM Request Show, after leaving Classic FM, he continued to make significant contributions to radio broadcasting, notably hosting Jazz FM's Breakfast Show and Scala Radio's program until his death. His passion for music, arts, and current affairs made him a beloved figure in British radio, leaving an indelible impact on the industry. Nancy Bwerski, an influential American filmmaker, producer, and photographer, passed away on August 29th, born on June 24, 1945. Bursky had a diverse and impactful career that spanned journalism and filmmaking. She initially gained prominence as a picture editor at the New York Times, where her selection of a Kevin Carter photo contributed to the paper winning its first Pulitzer Prize for feature photo reporting. Bursky's major accomplishments include founding the Full Frame Documentary Film Festival and directing it for a decade. Her acclaimed documentaries such as The Loving Story, which won an Emmy and a Peabody Award, and The Rape of Recy Taylor, which was honored at the Venice International Film Festival, tackled significant social issues and have been credited for raising awareness and influencing public perception. Her pioneering work, 
has left a lasting impact on documentary filmmaking and human rights advocacy. John Warnock, an American computer scientist and entrepreneur, passed away on August 19th at the age of 82 due to pancreatic cancer. A co-founder of Adobe Systems Inc. alongside Charles Geschke, Warnock was instrumental in pioneering technologies that revolutionized the field of digital publishing and visual communications. He was the driving force behind game-changing innovations such as PostScript, Adobe Illustrator, and the portable document format. His transformative contributions enabled high-resolution printing from computers and made desktop publishing accessible, altering the way we interact with digital media today. Warnock's enduring impact will be felt across various industries that rely on visual communication and electronic documentation.